Welcome back guys to Stop for Garage. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna go into detail all of the different products that I personally love to use in my videos, my go-to products, but also this would be a good video for anybody that's looking to start out in detailing, things that you could pick up for yourself to keep your car clean as well. And also like in all my videos, I have all the products in the description box below for you guys. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. And if you like these sort of videos, give it a thumbs up. And also let me know in the comments below if you guys have go-to products that you personally swear by. Let me know because I'm always looking to try out some new stuff. Now for the first part of this video, I wanna discuss cleaning your carpets, cleaning your seats, cleaning your floor mats, any sort of fabric in your car, including the headliner. These are the products that I use personally and why I like to use them. Now, when it comes to a quick go-to product, Nothing can beat Folex. This stuff is, you can pick it up at Home Depot, any store for that matter, um, but it's an instant spot removal. You can spray it on, you know, use a brush to agitate it, and then just use a microfiber towel to dab it. It's a quick spot remover that is kind of like a easy go-to for me. And I've even used this in my extractor before in my sprayer and like bigger jobs, but from a smaller standpoint, this is a great go-to product. Now with some of my bigger jobs, this is actually a product that a subscriber recommended to me. This first one is called Bio Break with Citrus. This is like your pre-spray that I put in my sprayer that I spray down first, and then I use my drill brush to agitate all the carpets with. And then this is called Flex Ice. This is actually a powdered extraction rinse. I put this in, it's supposed to neutralize the pH, help keep the fabric looking nice and new, but also a great post-treatment when you're using your extractor. So you mix this just with hot water and you use that with the extractor stage. Now in the past, I've tried two other products. This one is called Chemical Guys Lightning Fast. This is also kind of like Folex for that matter. It's very quick spot stain remover. Now this product is Chemical Guys Fabric Clean. This is a great carpet shampoo and also odor eliminator. It smells like lemon Pez, which is awesome. Um, but the only problem with this with an extractor is it gets really foamy. So if you're doing a small spot, if you're you know, using it with a drill brush and then you're pressure washing like a floor mat, that's a great product, but with an extractor, it does get extra foamy, which is kind of a problem with an extractor. Now, from a tool standpoint, this is a drill from DeWalt that I like to use. It's 20 volts. It's one of the newer ones. The battery packs last a long time. They're lithium ion. But the main thing that you're using the drill for is drill brushes. These things are key with cleaning any sort of carpet, fabric, seats, leather for that matter. They are a go-to product that if you're looking to kind of speed up your detail, it makes life a lot easier instead of having to manually scrub with a brush. The key thing is with drill brushes though, is there are different stiffness levels. Like this is a medium stiffness, this one's a soft one. That comes into play when you're doing certain types of fabric or certain types of carpet. So a medium one's great for doing floor mats, doing your carpet on your floors, but if you have a damaged or more fragile like cloth interior on your seats or your headliner, for instance, definitely look at a soft one. And they also work well on leather, the soft ones do as well. Now from the big product standpoint, um, a steam cleaner, this is a Wagner steam cleaner. This product is one that I've used for, gosh, since I started making videos on YouTube, I picked this bad boy up. They're about 120 bucks, I believe, on Amazon still. They're not super expensive, but you can use these for cleaning your headliner. You can use them for cleaning your entire interior. The great thing is with steam is there's no chemicals involved. You can spray it in your air vents to clean out any mold or any kind of disinfecting that you're doing. These things are great go-to products, and you can actually use steam just to clean the outside of your car. If you want to look up that sort of video on YouTube, check it out. Just like steam wash in your car. There's certain machines that do it on a larger scale than this thing, but you can actually just wash your entire car with steam, which is kind of cool. Now, I used to use a little mean green machine from Bazell. If you guys go back to my very beginning videos, I used to use one and they're great machines. They actually work really, really well for what the size of the kind of carpet that you're supposed to use them for. But the problem that I ran into when I got to, I think about the Roach Motel video, if you guys remember, I'll kind of put an iCard up here if you want to check it out. At that point in my detailing game, I had to upgrade to a larger capacity one because with the little mean green machine, it does great, but you can only hold like, I think it's like half a gallon of water when you extract. Whereas this one holds about five gallons. But this is the Sandia 5100. You can pick them up for about four or 500 bucks on Amazon. So they're a little bit more pricey than a Bazelle, but you can use these on the interior of your car. You can also use them inside your house. That's why I recommend them. And when it comes to a heated version, I feel like if you just get hot water from the tap, pour it in your machine and you're using it right away, you're gonna use it all up before the heater inside is actually gonna have any impact. Now, part of the whole extraction process, this is a Smurf. <laughs> Smurf, Smurf. Smith Performance Series Sprayer R200 Turf and Agriculture Series. 
Um, this is a pump sprayer, so you pump it up, you can use it as spray on your lawn, chemicals and stuff. I specifically use it to spray that pre-treatment for carpet extracting. And the reason why I like this one the most is one, most of it's plastic, but the actual rod here is metal. And I've broken probably three or four of the plastic ones. And when I upgraded to this one, I've had this one for a really long time. It does a good job. So that covers the carpet extracting stage, but now when it comes to leather seats and things like that, I use a few different products. I actually have, um, in my, one of my last videos, I used the Chemical Guys Leather Cleaner and Conditioner. This stuff did a really good job. I really like it. It's odorless and it doesn't leave like a slimy type feeling on the seats. It actually absorbs pretty quickly and dries pretty quickly, which I liked a lot. If we wanna go into detail what I have always used, and this goes back to when I used to detail back in high school and college, which gosh, I'm old as crap now, but um, Lexol. This is leather cleaner and leather conditioner from Lexol. And I, I mean, these are just kind of go-to products. And when it comes to some of these things, you can interchange them across the board, but these are just kind of the things that I have that I've always used. But like I said, I'm always trying new stuff anyway. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I'm always interested in trying some new stuff. Uh, Brillac Nitrile Gloves, I picked up these from Amazon. I think I got five, six boxes, really cheap. But um, definitely use gloves when you're detailing. That's one thing as well, because the chemicals and everything you're dealing with, you know, you don't want that on your skin. So definitely wear gloves. Some sort of eye protection and some sort of mask is always good as well, especially if you're working in a dusty car. You don't want to breathe in that dust and get inside your lungs. Now, for the next part of this, we're going to go into cleaning the average interior inside your car and the different things that I use, that I love to use, that you see in all my videos. Um, the first product that I want to talk about is, this one's from Chemical Guys, it's called All Clean. It smells good, I like the way it works, and the best part is when you buy it, it comes in a concentrated like lime green formula, which you guys can see here. It's really lime green. Um, I actually have a giant gallon jug of this that I use to dilute. And Chemical Guys even sells these really, really nice spray bottles. They're empty ones specifically for mixing sort of things like this. But they got dilution radio ratios on the side, which is really nice and helpful. Plus the actual uh, sprayer nozzle is really ergonomical and it works well. I've had tons, like these sprayers, I'm not really a fan of them. These ones work 10 times better. Now once you've cleaned your entire interior, that's kind of the point where you wanna put on some sort of protectant if you want to. The main reason why you try to do that with plastic stuff is because the sun will eventually deteriorate at the UV rays. Two products that I've used in the past and two products that I would recommend is one, 303 Aerospace Protectant. This stuff I've honestly used, like I said, back when I used to detail. This was my 100% go-to. Um, but over time, I've kind of switched gears a little bit more. I actually like the Silk Shine from Chemical Guys. Um, they actually don't sponsor me at all. I just really like their stuff. But their uh, Silk Shine stuff, it goes on. It doesn't leave sort of like a filmy, slimy texture. It does take a little bit longer to dry than this, but when I put this on, I try to spray it on a microfiber towel and then just rub it on instead of spraying it across the panel. Uh, same goes with this stuff, but my new go-to is definitely the Chemical Guys Silk Shine, just from an aesthetic standpoint and from an ease of use. Now, when it comes to tools on the interior as well, we already talked about the drill brush for the carpets. The other tools that I would recommend are one, detailing brushes. These are actually my personal brushes that I sell on my website, foxclean.com. I've tried out tons of different brushes and there's lots of different types and colors that you can get. I personally like these the most, one, because the bristles are super soft, but they're also a more whitish color with the gray. It allows you to see when they get super dirty and when you need to clean them across panels over a black bristle, which obviously you can't tell when it's dirty. Definitely, if you wanna pick these up, I sell them on my website at foxclean.com, so check them out. If you've been around, you've heard me talk about them a little bit before. I've just been trying to make sure everything was perfect with my new launch for them, but I've tried out tons of different microfiber towels. As a detailer, any of you guys that detail, you know that microfiber towels are like the holy grail of detailing. You have to have them for the exterior, you have to have them for the interior. You need them for everywhere. And to be honest, there are many different types and anything that you typically find in a store, they suck. Just straight up gonna say it. They are not the most plush, they don't have the most dense fibers. And to be honest, a lot of times, some of those can actually scratch your paint. You have to be careful with that. But for me personally, I've been trying out a ton and I'm happy and I'm finally able to tell you guys that I'm carrying microfiber towels on my website on Fox Clean. This is four towels. They're super, super plush. They're edgeless, so that way you don't have to worry about scratching your paint. I like these because you can use them on the interior and the exterior, which is why I decided I wanted to finally offer them for you guys to check out. I've actually washed these ones six times and used them six times and they are still super plush and absorb like brand new. So that's why I recommend them. Now the other product that I'm gonna be carrying on my site now is the towel that you guys have seen me use in my exterior detailing videos. The super big drying towel, this one is awesome. 
This is one that you can use to dry your entire exterior of your car just with one towel. In the past, I've used like 20 microfiber towels to dry the exterior, whereas this one is super, super thick, doesn't scratch your paint, and absorbs a ton of water. So I'm gonna be selling those as well on foxclean.com. Now, another tool for the interior that I would recommend. Um, this is something that is new to me. I've used it in the last three or four videos. Um, you guys have probably seen me use it, but this is the Invisible Glass Reach and Clean Tool. Um, they actually sell this with their glass cleaner, which, hold on. This stuff, you guys see me talk about it. The reason why I've always liked this stuff is it does a really good job being streak free. It's safe for tint because it doesn't have ammonia in it. But then also with the reach tool, this makes cleaning your windshield and the rear window of your car, especially in a sedan, a piece of cake. Like it just, you can get into the corners, you can get all the way down inside the windshield in the front. It makes life a lot easier. And when you're done cleaning with this towel on this pad, you pull it off and you can get a new one stuck to it to dry it afterwards to make it streak free. They're kind of silly, some people might say, but for me, it really helps with making my life easier. So definitely recommend it. Now, when it comes to things that you probably don't need for cleaning your interior, but I would recommend one, we already talked about the drill. You don't need a drill with a drill brush, but it makes life easier when you're cleaning carpets. The other tool that I would recommend is any sort of impact driver. This is just a standard screwdriver that you can put new bits in, but when you're taking off panels or you're trying to remove stuff, having them is nice. Um, this DeWalt with that drill and this, and then I also got another tool with it. I picked them up on Home Depot during like, you know, 4th of July specials or Christmas specials. You can get them for a really good price and they're just something that you can use everywhere around your house, fixing anything else, not only just for your detailing game. The last tool I'll be talking about today, this is one, again, another excessive tool that you guys probably don't need, but is a really, really nice tool to have. This is the M18 Milwaukee Fuel Impact Driver. This is a 3 8 inch head. Um, I use these to pull seats, pull anything out of, my, out of the cars that I detail when I need to use some sort of impact driver to remove them. Um, not needed, especially if you guys work on your cars or mechanic, you guys will understand why something like this is nice to have. So that covers everything that I would recommend from an interior detailing standpoint. And if you guys wanna see my exterior list of products that I recommend, leave a comment below, give this video a thumbs up to let me know you guys wanna see it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, everything's in the description box below listed so you guys can check it out as well if you're interested. And thank you guys so much for being part of Stalker Garage Crew. So subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.